What's up everyone and thank you for stopping by the channel. Today's project is this Ryobi leaf blower and the problem is that it starts but it won't stay running. Let's take a good look at it, find out what's wrong with it and hopefully we can fix it. In this video we try and repair this blower, however it may not be the exact repair you need to make to yours, we'll explore other options later in the video. Now overall this blower seems to be in great shape but I'm sure it's not new. That means it's probably spent more time in storage than in use. One of the worst things for equipment is to be put away in storage but it's much worse if it's put away improperly. I'm pretty sure this one has been poorly stored so more than likely there's going to be carburetor issues that we'll need to address. The next thing I want to do is check the engine's compression. I'm going to slowly pull on the rope and feel how much the engine is fighting back. This one is fighting back but it's not as strong as I was hoping for but it should be enough to run. I do want to get a better feel for how much the engine is worn down and for that I'm going to use a compression tester. Now you can find these online for a few dollars. Simply remove the spark plug, install the tester, squeeze the throttle and pull the rope a few times. Now my gauge is a bit off but I want to see a reading over 50 psi and the higher the better. Now the reading is about 55 psi and that means it's a bit worn down but it should still be enough for it to work. The main reason for this blower to be slightly worn out is the wrong gas and oil mixture. A mixture that's low in oil will wear your engine down as compared to the correct mixture. There's still some fuel in the tank and if you take a look at it you can see there's very little color to it so that would confirm why this engine is a bit worn out. There simply isn't enough oil in the gas. The next thing I'm going to do is put some fresh fuel in the tank, prime the fuel system and try starting it. Now if your primer bulb isn't filling up with fuel then more than likely the engine isn't going to start and the most likely reason for this to happen is a carburetor problem. So the first problem is that it was running in the full choke position and it died in the half choke position. It's not supposed to be like that. Let's try that again and see if we can keep it running this time. Now since the engine runs in full choke and dies in half choke, that means the engine isn't getting enough fuel to stay running. Now I could simply try to adjust the carburetor to deliver more fuel to the engine, but since I know this thing hasn't been stored very well, there could be carburetor problems. So before I start turning adjusting screws, I want to open up the carburetor and look for any problems. If you're not sure which fuel port is for the return line or the filter line, try pressing the bulb a few times. Now the return line will have bubbles in it. So that means the port near the bulb is the return line. Next remove the old fuel lines including the fuel filter so we can replace them. You can see just how bad the fuel line has become. This is what happens when your equipment is exposed to ethanol gas for long periods of time. Now after removing the original fuel filter from the line, it looks like it's in good shape. However, if you look where the fuel line goes, you can see there's corrosion inside it. I think I can clean it out and use it again, but I won't decide that until I inspect the carburetor. After removing the primer bulb side of the carburetor, I can see the internal screen which, I hate to say, is completely covered with the same gray buildup that was inside the filter. Now a clogged screen reduces the amount of fuel that the carburetor can deliver to the engine so it's a good thing we didn't try adjusting for more fuel. Next I'll clean the screen and the primer side of the carburetor as well, then I'll reassemble it. Another reason why your blower would start but not stay running is a clogged spark arrestor screen. Remove your screen off the muffler and clean it if necessary.
So the fuel line I'll be using is Tigon line, which is supposed to be more ethanol resistant. However, I would still not leave fuel in the tank for long periods of time. Now to help get the line into the tank, cut the line at a sharp angle. I'll make the return line first, and you don't have to put a lot of line into the tank. I think I usually put about an inch or so inside the tank. Now I don't want to have the same problem again so I think replacing the original filter with a new one is probably the best idea. Now these are very inexpensive online so I would suggest buying a pack of these, at least one for each of your machines. Now remember that the return line goes to the top port near the primer bulb and the fuel line with the filter goes to the other port. Now after the lines are installed, press the primer bulb, make sure that fuel flows into the lower port and out of the top port back to the tank. After that, I'll start the blower and see if it runs any better. So it's starting like it's supposed to, in full choke and running in the half choke position. But it's still dying so we'll need to adjust the carburetor so it at least idles. Now if you don't have any carburetor adjusting tools, these are very affordable online and come with several different types of tools. This one requires the double D tool but yours may be different. On the carburetor there's a letter L near the adjusting screw. This is for adjustments at idle speed. And this is right here is the H screw and it's for high engine speed adjustment. Now to start off I'll turn the L screw a quarter turn counterclockwise to see if it doesn't die. Now the throttle will be fully squeezed so if it stays running I might have to start adjusting the H screw. So it started and ran even after moving the choke to the run position. However, it wasn't getting enough fuel for full throttle so I had to turn out the H screw about a quarter turn counterclockwise. It did run better but I did make a few slight adjustments just to make sure. So my question is, do you leave fuel in your blower when you're not using it? Now I do leave fuel in my blower all season but I usually use my blower at least once a month even during winter time. Thank you for watching, I really appreciate your time here. Please feel free to ask any questions and I hope to see you in my next video.